So, do you remember during the lockdown how us lorry drivers were everything to everybody? We were wonderful people. We were saints. You know, we were helping out through the pandemic, a dangerous time and all the rest of it. And they looked after us in our wages, which was quite kind. Some places, like Co-op, went up to £25 an hour for a few reasons. A, there was a shortage of drivers. And B, Co-op are a bunch of wankers to work for an Avon mouth. And the guy there has managed to put so many people, including yours truly, on a ban list. It's literally massive. And they're struggling to get drivers. So they had to pay £25 an hour to see if they could entice people from other places who aren't banned. And let me tell you, the ban list is in its hundreds. <laughs> Seriously. Anyway, there we are. Um, so... At that time, I think they've probably looked at us as a bunch of uh, bastards for managing to get a few quid extra out of us that we didn't really want to pay you, and we will get our own back. Well, they have. And it isn't just co-op. It's everybody, right? The entire industry has had the arse knocked out of it for a few reasons. They've put a load of people into positions that if they cherry-pick from, say, for instance, the warehouse or off the dole or whatever it was, you know, any Tom, Dick and Harry that's got no real interest in driving but thought, I know, I fancy 15, 16, 17, 18 pound an hour. But when you come in, you'll have to be on lower wages to start with. Oh, that sounds fair. Okay. So what they did was they enticed these people in and they put them on £10 an hour, £11 an hour, whatever. But you, you stay with us for a little while and it'll be good. Well, it turns out that now when you're looking around for work, because the agency's absolutely dead, because they've saturated with these low-rent drivers, all right, with very little experience. And not just that, we've got a load of Romanian people come over with a firm they've set up over here, and they are literally crucifying all the owner-drivers because they're undercutting everything, because I don't know where they get their money from, but they've put together a fleet of useless IVCOs, which break down. Uh, but anyway, they're so bloody cheap that there's so many of them using them out there at the moment that they're not going with all the uh, the owner-drivers that they've used for years that have been loyal to them. And a lot of these owner-drivers have got vehicles stood up, and they have been stood up for a considerable amount of time. I don't know how they can afford it. But if you think these people um, are like the Romanian firm that are paying their drivers, I assume £10 an hour, but it won't be any more than that. Uh, and they'll bring them over here, and they'll get them all set up and all the rest of it, and they'll work them after death. Now, these people that have come over from, say, for instance, Romania, I think this is a really good deal because they're on much, much, much more than you are over there. I mean, if you think about it, an average income for a month is 250 euros. That's not very much, okay? So it's good money over here to them. But they flooded the market with, as I say, newbies and things like that. And what they've also done with uh, the drivers who were on decent money is ended the contracts, in some places they fitted them up but either way they've shifted them out of that contract where they're on decent wages or they've finished up their jobs and they've had to reapply back for their jobs but then they get less now, a lot of people have go why would you do that well because all of these companies all talk to each other and they all drop their wages together so you're no better off going off somewhere else it's like price fixing but wage fixing and at the moment some, as I say, companies are offering you £10 an hour. Bear in mind, £10 an hour will be illegal for anybody over the age of 23 come about April, I think it is, or sometime in April. But forgetting that aside, right, let's look. You get a job at Costa Coffee, right? You can be a 19-year-old girl on £10 an hour, all right? Um, you want to get a job in the industry now. You're looking at probably five grand to get yourself on the road if you pay for it yourself. Or you have to sign up to some other company and then God knows how long you're going to be working for next to nothing. Now, some of you are going to say, well, if you don't like it, why do it? Wait, this will all become apparent in a minute, right? Then you've got some companies you go to will overload you. They may not mean to, all right, but that might be a thing. And if you get caught, it's a thousand pound a ton. Some companies do. Now, other companies are also not everybody so scrupulous. And if you're short of money, I mean desperate for money, and you need a job, you'll work for one of these companies. And if you find that you're getting in the morning and, say, for instance, there's yellow lights all over the dash, right, you'll take it out because you get told to. If you've got an EGR problem or if you've got ABS problem or whatever and you get caught out in the road like that and Vosa know that you've gone out like that or they're DVSA now, big fine. But if you don't do it, you could lose your job too because you could be working for one of those drivers. And I'll say um, operators. I'm not saying they're all like that. Definitely not, but it's a thing, right? But there's so many things that you could accrue a fine for that in many cases are out of your, you know, you could make a genuine mistake is what I'm saying. So all that in mind, people are saying, well, if you don't like it, get out of the industry. Fine. What if loads of us do that? How are you going to get your goods? 
Because at some point, by the way, the bubble will burst for a lot of the people that are coming over here. Because the wages will keep going down and going down and going down, and they'll be like, what's the point? I'm away from my home, away from my family, I'm away from all that, why? Or you could get all these newbies that have come in and they've been worked really hard on minimum wage, which it is, and in the end they actually think, well, this job is so unsociable that it's ruining my marriage and I'm not actually getting my weekends off and I don't know when I'm going to work because the industry is a bit like that or, you know, 101 things. And they might think, well, actually, this is shit. i knock it on the head. Because I'm not expecting um, a lot of these people that they put through their license to be there in three years. Serious. Once the initial fun of driving their trucks out of the way, if they even want to drive a truck, because some of these people have just done it because it seems more money than what they could have earned before. But taking aside, once the initial, oh, this is good fun, goes, and they realise they're being shit on from a high height, they will probably jack because they can get a job stacking shelves, right, for Lidl, Audi, Morrisons, whatever, for the same money or more. When you think about it, some of these van drivers are on more than class one drivers. Now, there's a lot of them out there going, oh, you're whinging. Fine. But when they all decide to give up and you can't get any food, who's going to be whinging then, sunshine? Eh? So, this is the industry. The industry that they couldn't get enough of before and were all wonderful and all the rest of it. I knew it. I said it as well. I said it won't stay like this and they will take a giant dump on us and they'll punish us for having had a few more extra quid out of them that they didn't really want to give us, but they had no other choice. For 10 minutes, we had it our way, and we got paid a bit extra, and they will not forgive us for that. But one thing's for sure, they haven't thought down the road, because all of these automated vehicles are a pipe dream. That ain't going to happen. Not for a long, 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 long time. People were watching Tomorrow's World in 1980 or 1975 even, and it was telling how these trucks were all going to drive themselves, and we're still waiting. And the trucks that do, dry, do try and drive themselves don't work very well, especially not in Great Britain. So I predict another mass fuck-up. And I can't wait. The industry deserves it. You treat your people like this, you deserve what you get. Anyway, that's the whinge. See you in a bit.